Hello, I have just been chatting to a special little person and that special little person was saying that they're not really keen about going outside in the summertime because of bees and sometimes because of spiders too. And it reminded me about Mia Monkey. Now Mia Monkey is also sometimes a bit worried about bees and spiders. So I thought I would read this story. She's saying that little children are scared, but actually I think she was a bit worried about them too. So let's read the story. Here's Mia Monkey and the little hearts are where she taps on her body when she's tapping. So that helps us too. Mia Monkey says some children are a little bit afraid of creepy crawlies like bees and spiders. Mia Monkey used to be a little bit scared too, but she says some happy tapping can help us to feel a little bit braver when we see a spider or a bee that is a little bit creepy. We tap along with her to help us learn to not be so scared of bees and spiders. Let's put on our imaginary safety vest to help us feel safe around creepy crawlies. Now, you have to put on your imaginary safety vest, okay? So you, oh, I've got one on. Mine's not imaginary today. So imagine putting it on. Remember, think what colour. Mine, my imaginary one is like a purple gold, okay? It's like a purple gold. It's like superwoman. And I'm going to zip it up so I'm nice and safe. So can you do that too, okay? Now, now, mummies and daddies and brothers and sisters can tap along as well because sometimes mummies and daddies are a wee bit scared of bees and spiders too. Shh, it's a secret. Mia Monkey says, cross your hands over your heart in the heart healing position and take three deep breaths. Okay, ready? In again. And out. And one more. Well done. Name your title, This Fear of Bees and Spiders. Now you say that as well. This Fear of Bees and Spiders. On you go. Okay. Now copy me a monkey and do some magic tapping. I am scared of bees and spiders. Now tap in your head and say it along with me. I am scared of bees and spiders. And then we're going to go to the middle of our forehead here. They have lots of scary legs. Now you say it too. They have lots of scary legs. And then at the side, oh no, we're going to go down here, sorry. We're going to go down to where the eyebrow is right at the top there. Some of them are hairy. Tap, 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 tap. And then out to the side here, some have lots of eyes and wings. And you keep tapping very gently. Let's see what else Mia Monkey says. Oh, under your eye now. Okay, under your eye. Spiders and bees are creepy and crawly. And then underneath the nose, they scare me when they run really fast. And then underneath the mouth here, they creep up on me and make me jump or they fly around my head and they buzz around my head. And then we tap here, just across, there's a wee bone here and we just tap our whole hand there. Let's just tap right across it. I am really scared of bees and spiders. And then we go to the corner of our thumbnail, okay? And tap the corner of our thumbnail. They make me scream and shout for mummy and daddy. But what? And then go to your finger learn to like spiders and bees. What a thought. Let's turn the page and find out more. 
the next finger and middle finger. They don't have to be creepy or scary. And then your next finger here. Okay, let's see what she says. Maybe bees and spiders aren't so bad. And then your little fingernail. Maybe bees and spiders are actually quite cool. And then I, Fratty Chop here, I choose that they're spider, spiders and bees, that is. I choose that they're actually cool. Okay, let's see what else she has to say. Now let's cross our hands in the heart healing position and breathe in and out. So breathe in and out. In and out. And one more time. In and out. And then just relax. Ah, that feels better. Mia Monkey says, how are you feeling now? Hopefully, you are feeling brave enough to be around spiders and bugs. Now, look at Charlie Chameleon's number scale and just find out where you are. So, if you're up at yellow, you're feeling great. You're feeling awesome. And if you're in the middle, you're just going, no, I'm fine. And if you're down here, no, I still don't like bees and spiders. Okay, so if you're still around the bit that says, mm, I don't like bees and spiders, what you need to think, what is it about the bees and spiders that you still don't like? And then once you decide what that is, then you can start tapping again. So it could be, I don't like when they sting me, it hurts. And then down to the middle of the forehead, it hurts when they sting me, it happened before. You say the words with me just now, we're just kind of giving ideas of what we could see. They scare me, put it down here. They scare me. And then out to the side and wasps scare me. And then underneath your eye, I'm scared that they're going to sting me again. And then out down to here. I worry about the summer coming. And then underneath here, because there's going to be more bees and wasps. And then down here, I don't like bees and wasps. And then underneath here, I'm scared of bees and wasps. And then down here, maybe I can learn to feel safe when I'm outside. Maybe I can learn to feel safe when I'm outside. I can learn to be still if I see a bee or a wasp. I can learn to breathe slowly when I see a bee or a wasp. I can stand like a statue when I see a bee or a wasp. I can watch the bees on the flowers making honey. I can stand really still when I see a bee or a wasp. Now, so you can just tap on the different things that you're not very keen on when you, when you think about bees and wasps. And the more you practice it, the more it will help. And if you need to have any more questions or you would like me to do something different, then just give me a little message and I'll see if I can help a little bit more. It doesn't matter which order you tap in, doesn't matter what, what you do first, 
just tap on those different places when you're talking about the bees and the wasps. That's all you need to do. Okay, so I hope that's helped that special little person. Okay, see you later. Take care.